Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain about greedy search algorithm, what it is and how it works. Greedy algorithm basically find the local optimal solution with the hope that it could lead to global optimal solution. So it is not necessary that the local optimal solution could be the final solution or it could lead to the global optimal solution. So now let's move towards the functionality of greedy search algorithm that how it works. Let's suppose we have this tree and we need to find the largest sum in this tree. For that uh, we take the uh, root uh, node this is 7 and uh, you know, if we take a look that uh, here we'll make a decision between 3 and 12 and the greedy algorithm will choose uh, 12 and it is the local optimal solution. As we are going to find the largest sum in this tree so it will choose 12 uh, because it is the biggest number in between 3 and 12. 12 and next nodes are 5 and 6 and the greedy algorithm will choose 6 as it is the local optimal solution. So the final solution for the greedy algorithm is 7 plus 12 plus 6 uh, but it is not true in this case. As I have already mentioned that greedy search algorithm will not always find the optimal solution as global. So the global optimal solution was if we move from 7 to 3 and 3 to 99. This was the global optimal solution. So we can write that 7 plus 3 plus 99. So this could be our optimal solution as a global. So in this type of cases, greedy algorithm fails. So now take another another example with uh, we need to move from point A to C. And the distance is given in kilometers like 4, 3, 10, 1, and 5. And our source node is A, and we need to reach the destination which is C node. And if we move from A to B, uh, we need to cover the distance of 4 kilometers. And uh, if we move directly from A to C, we need to cover 10 kilometers. And if we move from A to D, we need to cover 3 kilometers. So, what will greedy algorithm do? It will choose 3 and from D to we have only one distance so we need to take 5 so we read the destination so the total uh, solution is 3 plus 5 8 so if we take a look uh, 4 plus 5 was the minimum distance that we need to cover for the solution for optimal solution but in this case greedy algorithm fails again so it is not necessary to say that a greedy search algorithm will always fail. Let's take another example. Here we need uh, we need to move from uh, node A to C, and in this case we move from A to D as uh, this is the minimum distance from uh, as the perspective of uh, search algorithm, greedy search algorithm, and we will move from D to uh, C as it is uh, one. So the greedy algorithm will find a solution three plus one. And if we find the optimal solution in this graph, uh, which is also 3 plus 1. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe.